curly girl hair method. Prepare to be shocked. Oh, it's so much faster this way. How I layer up to stay warm. A lot has happened. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to the vlog. Um, I'm in Colorado right now. We have Sarah here and I know we're just really jumping right into it, but we're going to do the curly girl hair method on my hair and see what happens. So okay. what's step one? Step one, curl cream. Okay. My hair so is so what I want you to do is like divide it down the center and then I pull it to the front. Okay. My hair is soaking wet right now. I just washed it with my normal products. Oh. <laughs> use this like in your between hands. both sides so what i'm gonna do yes is rake it through and then we're gonna do the like the scrunching Scrunch. thing okay okay will i be able to yeah, yeah. go through yeah. oh look at that as best we can and it will it's okay <laughs> you want that sound it's getting water all over if the floor if you want to turn your head that way i use a comb yeah i thought you weren't supposed to brush your hair uh combs are usually fine and sometimes Depending on the video you watch, they want you to put the curl cream, like, th like comb it through so that it gets on everything. Oops, but this way, good. it'll just kind of help. Because you also have so much of it. Yeah. I don't want it just to go on, like, the upper end. We're going to do all this, and it's going to be perfectly straight. <laughs> <laughs> Not a single wave. It's going to actually look straighter than it normally does. <laughs> and then, actually, what I'm going to have you do, once I kind of get this. the other side. Yeah. The amount of water that's dripping onto the <laughs> do floor Do you want to put a towel, right though? Well, Maybe. <laughs> I don't know if we have any more tally. Uh, here, we have this one. This is an extra. And then I might have you get your hair wet a little bit. More, more. wet? More wet. What? Do you want the curly girl method or not? Okay, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I think I just need it on the top, but like more wet. Okay. If you're able to kind of just... Put my head in this thing? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's okay. good. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna do that a little bit. If you want to start combing the other side, okay, yeah, that's a lot easier. To... And you kind of want to start like in the middle, and then kind of rake yourself up. Okay, so way. it's not too much product at the top. At the top, yeah. Scrunch. And because you have so much, we'll like <laughs> kind of pick it up at the middle parts too. Can you turn your head sideways oh, for oh, me? Oh. I've also never done this to somebody else, so like I'm like yeah awkwardly. <laughs> No, I'm the same way. In sorry, okay. high school, I did my eyeliner every single day. Putting eyeliner on someone else, uh -huh. impossible. So that squish sound is like what you want to hear. Okay. Oh wait, am oh. I seeing something? What are these curls? <laughs> what if? <laughs> I hope they can hear it. It's picking up. It kind of sounds like the SpongeBob. <laughs> Sound. Like when they're walking. Yeah. And then we'll be putting more in, so okay. I just want to make sure it gets all all up in there. Okay, and then try not to like whip it or anything, but just kinda Oh wait, wait, wait. Right? Combing yeah. this side? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Is this Bradford's comb? Yep. <laughs> Cause I forgot one. Thanks, Bradford. And because she has so much hair, I'm kinda well now I just smooshing my hand. I'm kinda using a lot of curl cream, yeah. Just because you have so much hair. Hopefully, I'm just like cut your boob. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's looking a little wavy, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> you can't tell. From the side, like looking at it from this side, yeah. it looks pretty like. I have very low hopes. At least it'll maybe make it look wavy. Slowly, I want you to kind of like bring your hair around so that you're down like this and it's all in front of your face. Yep. We're gonna do a little bit more curl cream. Should I like unpart it? Yes, yes, yeah, so that's all. So same thing, but kind of getting like the under. All right, and then while you're down like this, I'm gonna do the mousse too. Okay. Since the mousse has like what gives it the body. I'm wondering if it, if anything at all, it'll just like look more hydrated and like. Yes, possible. I don't know. 
I mean, this will kind of help trap the moisture, mm -hmm. so. And since my hair is so long, like, I feel like my the ends of my hair look the best when the top of my head is greasy because, like, the grease has finally been able to work uh -huh. all the way down. It kind of smells like um when you go to the dentist. And what? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> They put that like foamy tray in your mouth and it's like strawberry flavored. Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> like when they take the x-rays? No, like the foam tray for whatever. Oh, like when is. you're getting the like your uh, uh, retainer and stuff? No. <laughs> oh, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Maybe your dentist doesn't. I don't know. It's like a white, not whitening. It's supposed to like strengthen your enamel or something. I don't know. Oh. Okay, and then um, when you stand up, I want you to do it where it's like so. as best you can parted on the sides. <laughs> as best you can. It doesn't have to be like. Then you just stand up. Yeah, that wasn't bad. Okay, we're gonna do. I usually have to use like a super hard gel okay. to get that casting, but I'll just do this like lighter gel. Okay. Because I don't want to put too too much product on my hair, I guess, since it's already heavy. We'll just start with a little bit and then go from there. Am I turning my head sideways? Yeah, go ahead and do sideways again. I'm going to kind of do the rake again. I don't want to get the ends too, too much with the gel because then it just makes it super hard and like more oily looking. Okay. I think what's going to be big is when you plop it, mm -hmm. I think it'll, because it'll be like sitting kind of like all like that, Scrunched. you know? Because my hair is a little different. Like by now, like it would be like curls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like it's going to be really wavy. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. All right, same thing with the mousse where you had it like all in front of you, and then you'll be done where we can start plopping it. And then it's just a matter of waiting for your hair to kind of dry. Okay, I think we're ready to plop. It so, might be easier if we have a surface. <laughs> you look so scary right now too. <laughs> okay, go ahead, go on the ground. Oh my god, terrifying! Oh my god. Start crawling, but literally, I want you to have like your head like that, like like this. We can move the hair a little bit so it's not like. Just could go down. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> how do we go? <laughs> I don't want to do it from here. Um, Usually, what I do is like one of these numbers. <laughs> Okay, and then we're going to be, because it's all right here, stand up, or sit up at least, and then we're going to <laughs> wrap it around. What if I then put my little um, headband thingy, my shower headband to like secure it? Okay, is that it's in here? It's hanging on the hook in the back of the door. Oh, okay. No sun movements. <laughs> I think I look great. <laughs> it's going to be like so anticlimactic. Also, my hair just never Is that dries goes down over your head. Yeah. My hair never dries while it's in the plop. Okay, go down. <laughs> Hello. Who is it? I can't see you. Dad. Is the big guy the potato stuff? I don't know. I was just like, what happened to you? I came over to talk to the kids. What so, are you doing to your hair? I'm plopping it. I'm plopping it. Right in the middle of the record. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. Might be a little wavy. Hey y'all, it's editing Chloe, and I don't remember why I didn't talk during this clip. There was a reason, I just don't remember what it was, but here are my curly girl results. I need everyone who Man. doubted this to prepare to be shocked. Okay, I'm ready. Wow. Wow, that looks good. It's, there's Carl there. I'm just saying. Yeah. That looks so good. Hello, everyone. It is the next day, and we are going tubing. In a couple minutes, we'll be able to take our tutorial lesson video. It should be fun. Uh, anyone anyone want to contribute to this? I'm excited. Sarah's excited. <laughs> Mom's excited. We've never tubed before. All smiles. We were young and we were free and running. Never bothered about what could be coming. Every 
Well, oh my gosh, I guess we're twisting. It's so much faster this way. That was so much more speed. I love her so. Where are the crowd? The girls are racing. The boys. They look so small over there. They're talking big game over there. Also, we saw a mouse while we were riding the magic carpet. Uh, Sarah it's a magic carpet. Oh, that's cool. It's day and tubing yesterday was so much fun um i had such a bad taste in my mouth from the last time i went tubing which sorry for the slander but it was at snow creek the lanes were so much narrower at snow creek they were icy there's like supposed to be walls kind of on the side right so that you can stay in your lane and at Snow Creek, they were so small. So like it just, the whole thing at Snow Creek just felt so dangerous. And so when we were talking about tubing here, I was like low key kind of worried. Cause like I did not enjoy tubing at Snow Creek. Like it was, it was like a lot of the times kind of scary. I mean, it was fun, but like, and I didn't get hurt, but like I could see how easily we would have gotten hurt at Snow Creek. But here, completely different story, like so much more fun. Also, I am currently sitting in um, Sarah and Bradford's room right now just because the lighting is better and the fridge in the main area is kind of being noisy. What's with noisy fridges in my life lately? Everyone else has already left to go skiing for the day and I just wanted like a nice slow morning. It's like 11 o'clock right now, I think, 11.30 and I'm drinking my coffee. I'm, I don't know, I just didn't wanna like, rush to get on the mountain because I'm also not someone that likes to ski from like open to close like I'll ski like a couple hours and then I'm kind of good you know I also wouldn't mind like doing a couple runs by myself now though I'm gonna start getting ready and I figured I could show you how I layer up to stay warm and what I wear underneath all of my equipment when I'm skiing also let me show you how pretty this view is behind me one second this is the window right out the bedroom and just everything just looks so Christmassy. I know it's past Christmas season, but just winter wonderland, so pretty. Okay, this is like a weird angle, but I did not bring it. I don't know, I just like wasn't thinking and didn't bring any kind of tripod or like even my little sticky thing would have been great. So in terms of lighting and where I can set my phone to record, there's not many options, but you're sitting currently on top of a humidifier leaning against a water bottle that that's also on top of the humidifier. <sighs> I can't talk and why am I out of breath? The first step of this getting ready process is gonna be doing the skincare because if y'all have ever been in mountain air, it is so freaking dry. So I'm putting on a hyaluronic acid, which I don't normally use a ton, but like I said, it's dry here and my skin is like falling off. And then the next thing that I want is moisturizer slash sunscreen. There's both in here. It's just the CeraVe Ultralight Moisturizing Lotion. And I'm slathering it on. Like I don't care if I end up looking oily, which I definitely won't because it's so dry, but like normally I wouldn't put this much moisturizer on. But I'm just trying to keep my skin from falling off and flaking like crazy. Going down the neck. I know it seems kind of crazy, but when you're on the mountain, like you want to be wearing sunscreen because you can get sunburned even when it's negative 10 degrees. So this entire trip, we have been watching the Lord of the Rings trilogy. The only reason truthfully that I ever watched it was just because I had an older brother, but it's kind of nostalgic and it's like a very slow moving trilogy. Don't get me wrong, but I liked it. It's fun, so comment down below if you have any weird things that your brother made you watch as a kid, which you know as an adult you wouldn't like if it wasn't nostalgic. Chapstick next, because again, slathering her on. My lips have been so freaking dry. 
no matter how much chapstick I put on, it feels like it's not like ever fully absorbing in. Now, before we move on to hair, um, I want to do base layers. So we're going to have sports bra, thick ski socks. You definitely want to ski with like actual ski socks because they're thicker, they're a little padded. And then I'm going to do plain black leggings and a black thermal. You need a thermal, guys. There are a lot of people that say you shouldn't tuck your leggings like under your socks and into your boot if you're skiing. I do it every year. So to each their own. I definitely think like I wouldn't want to do it if my leggings weren't skin tight because you don't want anything like wrinkly and uncomfortable underneath your boot. <sighs> Why am I breathing so hard? And then this thermal that I have is just from Costco. Um, I've had it for probably like five or six years at this point, but definitely get a thin thermal layer to help keep you warm. I cannot catch my breath. I don't know what it is right now. Something about vlogging. I'm going to put my hair into two pigtail braids. I don't know if I updated anyone on the curly girl stuff, but I brushed it out that night, which was like against curly girl law is brushing your hair while it's dry. Like at that point, I didn't really care anymore. But it would be really interesting to see if my hair was like significantly more wavy, if it was a lot shorter and it wasn't getting weighed down. I haven't washed it since Sarah um, did the curly girl stuff to me. If anything, I just want my hair to feel more hydrated at the ends. But I like the way all this product feels in my hair for sure. So like at least that's a plus. I'm going to part it down the middle, just regular braids. I'm going to put a little bit of this argon oil in the ends just to help hydrate, but I'm going to speed through this part. They just need to be functional. Also, we've got our little strands out because how else is everyone going to know that I'm a girl when I'm on the mountain if I don't have these little strands hanging out? The next step is putting on all of our outerwear. Okay, actually, I decided to switch out my socks for a different dark blue pair that I have because my feet were going numb yesterday when I was wearing the light blue ones and I'm wondering if it has anything to do with the socks. These dark blue ones go up just like a little bit higher on my calf. We'll see, I'll update you. I have just plain black ski pants. These are from Outdoor Gear. There's nothing crazy. If you want to, you can wear thicker pants or whatever, like leggings I mean, like winter leggings or something. Most of the time I don't even think it's necessary and even the first day that we skied it was a like negative 10 degrees and my legs were never cold so up to you i like to always wear a hoodie underneath my like big puffy jacket especially on colder days how cold is it gonna be today let me look okay it's actually gonna get up to like oh my gosh hold on everything's falling okay it's actually like 30 degrees today, which I think by skiing standards is pretty warm. When you're, I mean, skiing's hard work. When you're going down the mountain, like you'll get hot. Honestly, like on a day that's in the 30s, sometimes I might even like just take my winter coat off and wrap it around my waist. We'll see how it is. Once I get up there, I mean, the wind might be blowing and it might seem a little colder. I'm putting on my ski boots on next, which if you have ever skied, you know how uncomfortable these are. And there's just no getting around it. Actually, I might just walk. Yeah, I'm gonna walk in just my socks down to where I need to pick up my skis and I'm just gonna carry these with me. Never mind. Let's save ourselves a little bit of discomfort. I'm grabbing my, what is this called? Balaclava neck piece. I'm gonna put this over my head. This one's really nice because it has a magnet that connects to your goggles. <laughs> Technically you can put it like up over your ears. And then I have my helmet here. I'm gonna grab my winter coat and we're gonna walk down and pick up my skis from the storage spot. I have a little drawstring bag and in here I just have my wallet, my room key, an extra pair of gloves, the gloves I'm gonna wear today. 
a bottle of plastic bottle of water. I think that's pretty much it. All of the concrete is heated here, which I know seems a little obnoxious, but if you think about it, it probably saves them so much money in manual labor for removing snow from the walkways because just this week that we've been here, they've gotten four feet of snow. It also makes it kind of fine to walk barefoot. Hi, um, picking up skis. It's, I think, 36. They're the ones with the little half circles and the flowers on them. Thank you. Hello vlog. So a lot has happened. It's just Sarah and I right now because Kevin, poor Kevin, I guess hurt his ankle coming down. So I was gonna meet up with the whole crew, but I ended up just like, well, we all met up except for Kevin who rode the sled down. Um, but now it's just Sarah and I, Bradford went with Des to go get Kevin and we're messing around making TikTok. So I'm gonna post it as a YouTube short too. So you guys will see it. But if not, follow me on TikTok. Um, yeah, and we've just been goofing around, doing the easy stuff, taking it nice and slow. It's 2.40 right now and the slopes close at four. So probably maybe another run or two. How much do you want to do? You got here early. I got here early. I'm down to go and you know, a couple more. Okay, so. cool. I got energy. Okay, bye. Follow me. <laughs> so Sarah and I made it back and um hold on Kevin okay what did you break so there's a on the outside of my ankle there's a, a ligament that connects to your bone uh -huh. and basically my ligament held but it tore off a little bit of the bone. And so that's what snapped. Okay. How did they say how long prediction for your boot? Um, well, they told me that I should see a specialist to see if I'm going to need surgery on it oh. in about a week or so. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'll see that. But they said sometimes it heals, sometimes it can heal on its own. Surgery isn't required. So he okay. didn't give me like a ratio on it, but. Um, I'm hoping that's the case, but um, I imagine at least probably a few weeks. We already talked about this, but did you enjoy your sled ride down? Uh, it was, the, everyone was great. Okay. The sled ride was a little interesting. It wasn't really scary, but I was leaning to my right quite a bit the entire ride down. So. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, everyone wish Kevin to get well soon.